Hey guys, what's up? KLN here and welcome back to another video on the channel. As you guys can see, we're an ultimate team and today we are going to be doing a squad foundations Sandy Baltimore review. So she is the level 15 season progress choice between her and Wolf. I decided to go with Baltimore because she's an attacker and at this stage, super subs would be very, very important. Now, I took this card without looking at the player bio which i will show you guys in just a second but she does look like a very good card 88 pace and dribbling with 89 passing does look very good where the problem comes in is right now three star skills two star weak foot that is absolutely horrendous absolutely horrendous but i took already so i decided to get a review out of her why not she's left footed primarily with the controlled explosive accelerate type five foot one tall medium medium work rate can start at right wing right mid and left mid got the PSG French and female league on league links as well looking at the attribute details on the card I've kept the basic cam style on her the sprint speed goes up to 88 attack positioning up to 98 shot power up to 79 and volleys up to 73 with penalties up to 86 when it comes down to the passing it looks absolutely ridiculous 95 vision 91 crossing 90 5 short pass, 89 long pass and 98 curve dribbling also looks absolutely crazy 90 agility, 95 balance, 95 ball control and 92 dribbling defending looks pretty decent as well and she does have 80 strength with a plus 4 to that when it comes down to the play style she has got the incisive pass play style, the whoop pass play style the technical ball control play style as well as the quick step physical play style so without further ado let's jump straight into the game the highlights was 84 rated squad foundations sandy baltimore and straight off the bat here by the way i'm going to be playing this card at camp so clearly doing her job at that camp position good link up play between her ronaldo and gravenbeck she sends that pass through to darwin nunes puts it across and cristiano ronaldo is there with a pretty good finish to make it 3-3 in this game but of course we want to get a match winner and can she be the match winner for us here all day gets that into baltimore it's good skills good turn great dribbling and on the two star weak foot she finds the top corner on the two star weak foot on the right foot she turns cuts inside and smashes that into the top bins i was very surprised by that i won't lie but anyway moving on to the next game here manson gets that into darwin nunez and really showcasing the dribbling on this card does very well to get away from upa mccono i'm trying to create a shooting chance i would have shot there but on the two-star weak foot, I don't have the confidence in her to score again. So I had to try and force it onto the left foot. Eventually, we get a bit lucky and we do end up getting a penalty because I definitely overplayed that. But anyway, Baltimore from the spot, she has got decent penalties and she tucks it away. Good penalty, top left, keeper doesn't even move. And we do have the first goal of this game with the French international. Moving on to the next clip. This is, well, not a penalty, but a pretty good finish from her, in my opinion. Is she going to make that run through? Yes, she is going to make that run through. Great pass from Darwin Nunez. The control and the volley is sensational, and she does end up getting a brace so far in this game. And from the penalty spot, again, I'm going to go left again, and she finds the back of the net again to make it 7-6 in this game. A crazy, crazy game of football right there. All my matches are pretty much with very very high score lines because for some reason nobody can defend in this game but anyway it is more fun but anyway moving on to the third game of this video baltimore has it and there's not really any way she can go to so i decided to just keep running whoop in the cross and what a cross that is the finish it's even better but the cross is sensational she's got the whoop pass trait she's got the inside of the pass trait and she does have very very high crossing so honestly that cross is just absolutely insane can she replicate that here Jota's at the far post, it's another inch perfect cross from Sandy Baltimore, genuinely that cross is ridiculous, two back to back insane crosses to get two back to back insane assists. Heading on to the next club here, Marjorie has it, does well, gets that into Baltimore, it's a great turn from her, cuts inside into the box and the finish at the end of it across the goalkeeper, I'm expecting her to score that and she does good finish and we do get another goal with her. But anyway, moving on to the next clip here, Matip comes in with a good interception, gets that into Baltimore, tips that into Darwin Nunes, and they're pretty much alone here, the two of them on the counter attack, it's 2v3, great pass from Nunes, here's Baltimore against the crossbar, but the rebound does fall kindly for Dawzi, 
who does end up tapping it in to the back of the net. Moving on to the last game of this video, Pope throws it out. Not too sure what Alex Moreno was doing, and I'm not too sure where this guy is taking his Nick Pope, but he leaves the near post pretty much wide open for us, and we do end up scoring. Honestly, I did finesse it to that side of the goals, and then I noticed that Pope was standing obviously at that side of the goals so I decided to switch it up at the last second which is why she's gone for the finesse shot animation but onto the next clip can I just use that speed get in past Rudiger yes I can and on the two star weak foot again this guy moves his keeper way too early all the way across the goals so on the two star weak foot we do have a pretty simple finish anyway with that being said that was the last clip of the video and now it is time to review the card so as you guys can see she has played six games, she has got seven goals and two assists. Those two assists were absolutely beautiful. Apart from the two assists, she did get seven goals, which is pretty solid. And she did link up the play quite a lot from the camp position. Now, when it comes down to the attribute details, I'm going to go through each category and rank it out of 10. Pace on the card is sensational. She feels very quick on the ball because of the 93 acceleration, 90 agility and 95 balance that she does have. So when it comes down to the pace, I'm going to go ahead and give her... A 9 out of 10. She feels very, very quick, especially with the plus 4 to the sprint speed. It does allow her to run in behind without getting caught. So the pace and boosting the sprint speed is very important, depending on where you are playing her. But I will let you guys know on the best position and what camp style I feel is the best at the end of the video. When it comes down to the shooting, pretty solid. Shot power is pretty low. Finishing is also pretty low, but she does get into very good positions in the box. So when it comes down to the shooting, I'm going to go ahead and give her... I think she deserves maybe an 8 out of 10 will be a bit generous because she does shoot very softly and she did miss a lot of chances especially in the first game that I tried it in and I didn't put that in the video because obviously no one wants to see miss chances but it wasn't wide if the goals were just straight at the goalkeeper chances that I was fully expecting her to score chances that she did score in this video actually so shooting does get a 7.9 out of 10 Passing, sensational. It's absolutely ridiculous. The best part on the card, in my opinion. It is just absolutely phenomenal. I think she deserves for passing a 9.1 out of 10. Because the passing on this card is genuinely, absolutely ridiculous. So, the crossing, the long passing, and the short passing, she can do it all. So, like I said, 9.1 out of 10. Dribbling, I think she deserves a 9 out of 10. She dribbles very quickly. She's got 93 acceleration to help out with that. The reactions are pretty low, but you can boost that up if you do give her a maestro camp style. But again, I will talk more about that in just a second. Defending is solid enough. She can play a sentiment if you really need her to. I'm going to go ahead and give her a 6.5 out of 10. And when it comes down to the physical on the card, I'm going to go ahead and give her a 7.5 out of 10. Of course, she does last the full 90, but she will get very, very tired towards the end of it. And she will not last extra time. Strength on the card is decent. She's not really that strong type of player. So I'm not expecting her to be able to go shoulder to shoulder with many players in the game and come out with the ball. But she is more of that evasive type of player who is able to wriggle away from players and just try to avoid them at all costs. Which I suggest you do with this card because she is very small, 5 foot 1 tall, not very aggressive. And although she does have 80 strength, she can hold on every now and then. But in my opinion, just try to stay away from players. She has the dribbling capabilities to do so. So physical, like I said, 7.5 out of 10. But obviously... That is with the plus 4 to the strength, which I do not recommend that you guys keep. When it comes down to the camp style on the card, I do think you should go for the maestro camp style to boost the shooting, passing and dribbling and make it as technical as possible. Shooting does need a boost in my opinion, especially the shot power and the long shots if you are going to be playing her at camp. When it comes down to the best position, I would say it will be at camp, but you could also play her out wide. And if you are to play her out wide, in that situation, I do recommend an engine or even a Hawk camp style for the card. So with that being said, is this card worth taking from level 15? Yes, 100% a very fun card. She will make a very, very good super sub, especially coming on off the bench in Weekend League. And without further ado, I do bring an end to this video. If you like this, smash the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until then, guys, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.